Now that you have learnt all the important concepts of Spring Boot and also saw a standalone Spring Boot application working end to end, I will summarize all the concepts while walking you through the flow of our application. You have started by creating a Spring Boot project by going to the Spring Initializer website. Once that created the project, which is a Maven project, you have imported it into Eclipse and the very starting point is the pom.xml. If you open it, you have seen it has the starter dependencies. Spring Boot gives us starter dependencies or jars or starter pomps, which when used will pull all the additional dependencies for us. Instead of us including all the dependencies in our Maven projects pom.xml, we include the starter pomps and automatically Maven will pull the other dependencies. If you see there are tons of jars here under Maven dependencies, but we didn't include all of them in our Maven. They are transitively pulled because these projects in turn tell Maven that we need all these jars. When you are building a web application, you will use a starter for web and that will bring a few other additional jars that are required to build a Spring web application. You have then looked at the Spring application or Spring Boot application project or Spring Boot application Java class that got generated. It is marked with at Spring Boot application telling the Spring container that this is the starting point of your Spring application. It has a main method which will be run by the container which in turn uses this particular class as a configuration. So this is the starting point of your Spring Boot application. Every Spring Boot application will have a class that is marked with at Spring Boot application. We have then worked on a tiny little use case which is to create two beans, a DAO with a create method and a service with a save method. The service uses the DAO and we have then went to the test class which also got generated. It uses the spring runner which is a JUnit runner for spring. This class is marked with spring boot test and it has a test method. Inside the test method you have retrieved the application context by auto wiring it and you got the service bin and invoked the save method. When this test is run, since you have marked this test with at spring boot test, it knows that it should look for a class in your application marked with Spring Boot application and use that class to run your application. So that is what happened. And when this class is run, the Spring container scans through all the this package as well as all its sub packages for Spring components. That is how this annotation is created by Spring guys. And it has scanned through, it finds these beans, it wires them. And then in the test, we invoke the save method. We didn't do any assertions, but we simply invoked it and it worked. So to summarize, you have successfully created, learned all the concepts of Spring Boot and you have seen it in action.